so with that said, let me say it this way. In the summer of 2017, I filed a criminal petition with the Texas Court of Criminal Appeals. I understood that part of what specifically was referenced in the Bill of Exception had to do with legislation that had consideration of capital crimes. I also had an understanding that I was filing it in the state of Texas and was seeking assistance in the state of Texas with the considerations of its national and maybe even international implications. Texas is a capital punishment state. Now, some may say that not everybody listed on that petition or that was inferred as being listed on that petition would have been, after an appropriate adjudication, a judge to have been guilty in a manner that would have required capital punishment. The prosecution and the sentencing are different. But in connection with this and what ended up happening, as a result of the obstruction, other people were identified as potential culprits to be considered. And I understood that I was requesting assistance with a capital petition. In the meantime, how many witnesses was I provided with? How many statements from witnesses was I provided with? How many people did I actually meet and engage with? who understood at the time that they knew something was wrong. They asked for help. How many of them did not get the support they needed? How many of them were attempted to be used as a human shield for somebody else that was named? I'm just going to let you know. If you had told me that they were guilty and they needed to be executed, the people that I mentioned in here, the people I mentioned in my later filings. I would not come back later and say that I was having second thoughts or guilt or regrets about understanding that I was accusing them of capital charges and that they had been felt guilty. I believe that what they did to us was an egregious harm so significant that it required a response that would create an appropriate deterrent. I still do. I still mean it. <clears throat> they should not be summarily or extrajudicially killed off, including in a particular kind of schematology, either literally or through derivative, so that somebody else can try to offset their losses. We were the ones that lost. Our country lost. The world lost. And we should be restituted. And we should be restituted in comportment with what would have actually respected who we are. So every day that's denied, this compounds. I would not have agreed to have them murdered with biological weapons. There are a particular number of and very specific manners of capital punishment that are legally justified. And if somebody decided she was going to, or some people decided they were going to hedge, maybe some successful capital execution sentences being delivered on being able to get items associated with what could be used to proliferate their drug empire, that's also been taken into consideration and appropriate people have been contacted. If somebody else was thinking maybe they would be able to do some sort of, uh, you know, ceremonial, historical reclamation based on another method of execution that is, while very common historically, currently only legal in certain parts of the world, that's also been taken into consideration. Just so you know. You were never in an alliance with me, if that's what you thought. And that's very unfortunate. I still mean it. They were capital charges. 